Hello everyone. So um today we're going to uh do lesson number two, which is about the interactive shell. So the interactive sh there are two ways you can do Python code. The interactive shell, which is this, which is this, and the file editor. But first, we can we can close the file editor first. So enter the following code here, like five plus eight. It'll return you dot in. Now, as you can see, th this five over here plus eight really if it values dot in. So this is called a uh, okay um. So this is your value. This is your operator, and this is your uh also your value, and this is your evaluation. That means whatever you go to. You can also do some stuff like minus like three minus two. No, that I actually added spaces because because it looks neater with the spaces. But you can do it without spaces. Look, three minus two. Ah, oh, it still works. Three times seven. Oops. Times seven. You see twenty one, right? Now note that the Multiply, now multiplication sign is not an x so try entering the 3x7 it says syntax error so syntax error means that actually there is something wrong with the logic in the code and you understand right yeah 3 divided by 9 huh. yeah I know it always gives these sort of numbers so if you try to type something that Python doesn't understand like like this six minus Yep something wrong happens in here. That's because Python Python says okay six deduct so six deduct then there's nothing then end of line. Deduct what? Right? Deduct what? Okay. So these are so actually so here's what I wanna tell you. So this is the order of operations. So the first one will be first in place will be parentheses, which is these brackets. Like it'll do the sums in there first, followed by multiplication and division. Now they're followed by addition and subtraction. Now try typing this in three divided by open bracket nine Mine nine minus what nine minus uh eight close bracket. Not not that you don't you not not to forget to close the bracket. Otherwise it will give a syntax error like this one over here. As you can see it's like end of line you see three mi divided by nine minus eight. You see you see it doesn't it just doesn't end. But it doesn't actually sorry, it doesn't give you syntax error. So so if you leave brackets open even the interactive shell like this one, uh Okay never mind. I'm not going to that now. Okay. So now creating variables. So a vari think of a variable as a box. Okay, which holds a value. So to assign an an operator to a variable, we do this. Type out the word, like a uh, word, word equals to, uh, let's say, 42. And uh, this is when I like to introduce this data type called strings, which you, if you just put a normal text in it like this, it'll take it as a variable. And I'll say that this word is not defined. To actually want to output this word, you just do this. O open quotes string then close quotes and don't forget to close your quotes see syntax error again so you can also do like word plus one and it will just show you how much word is and word is 42 so if you want to change the value of word you can just put this word 
equals to what plus one. See, what is change? Yeah, always you can always define more and more variables as you go along. So, guys, I think um this is all for this lesson, and I hope you uh stay tuned for the next few sessions.